Are you ready? So over there at the white machine, it is Django! There you go, Django! And we have Clank 4! There he is! And Massacre! Allegedly. Okay, guys, good luck! Here we go! a little while but unfortunately the, the downside to those big spinners is that it takes ages for it to really get up to speed and then when it does it can be devastating So it happens. Django takes another win. One, two, three, two, one, begin. Oh no, that was almost a real shocker there for drum roll he wasn't expecting that drum roll is the one usually on the attack not on the defensive i think drum roll may have had an issue come on sarah get it upright somebody help sarah remember if you're inactive for more than 10 seconds you're going to be counted out oh well done sarah she's back go girl He's, he's making up for lost ground right now. He's been taken by surprise early doors in this round, but he's coming back with full effect. But Mr. Mangle is inspired at the moment. He's not taking any prisoners. He just wants to win, win, win. Mr. Mangle, a formidable opponent. But of course, when they get cornered, they just get chewed to pieces. Oh! Almost into the pit. Good driving there for Mr. Mangle. Good reactions. But Sarah's just trying to find his weakness. A little bit of damage there to Sarah on Night Fury. But nothing that's going to stop her getting in the way of pushing those machines into the pit. Drumroll almost gets shoved into the pit. Mr. Mangle is now again under attack from Sarah of Night Fury. She's no shrinking violet, is Sarah. Yes! Well done, Sarah! No way! That was very unexpected. So, Sarah and Mr. Mangle. He's, she's trying her best to mangle up that machine, but... Go on, Sarah. Just keep going, girl. Keep going. Good job, Sarah. Uh, Night Fury can operate either way up. One of the only machines that can actually do that successfully. So, Mr. Mangle there taking a, another desperate attempt to try and cripple Night Fury, but Night Fury's got so much protection around all its components. Oh no, Mr. Mangle! It looks like he's stuck, and I don't think he's going to get out of that one. The rubber has wedged him into there. If he's inactive for more than 10 seconds, he'll get counted out, and Sarah will take another win. What will it be? We've got 14 seconds left of the round, but he's going to be counted out. Sarah, Night Fury takes the win. Straight away, first up, we have Pendulum and Defector. Roboteers, are you ready? Let's do it. Go, go, go. Get ready. Three, two, one, begin. So, who's going to come out victorious? This is going to be either devastating or it's going to be slow and painful. I think it's going to be devastating. 
What is going on with Pendulum? Come on, do it. Go, go, go. Is he lost drive? He's lost drive in one wheel. Oh, they're both out. Defector, what are you doing? Three, two, one, cease fire. So who wins that one then? I think Pendulum has taken the win, is that right judges? Pendulum takes the win. Yeah, why not? Okay. Thumper! There he is. Let's uh, let's see whether or not he manages to do a bit of that today. Not too sure. Binky! There he is. That spinning disc at the front there is devastating. <laughs> and next up, Endeavour. Right, good luck boys. Let the battle commence. Let the mayhem ensue. Here we go. Get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Oh, they're almost over there quickly. Now, what's Thumper trying to do? He's got no primary weapon. All he's got is luck and hope. And those, and those four little bunny rabbits giving him some luck. What is that? What's happened to What's happened to him over here? What's going on? Oh no! It's dead. So what's Dumper doing at the moment? Binky, come on, go on the attack. So Binky's out. What are you doing? What are you trying to do? He's out. He's dead. Go for the other one. Right, Endeavour. Thumper. It's up to you two guys. Come on. Smack. Take a run up. Take a hat and get him in the pit. Oh. Endeavour's doing his best, but he's got... He's, Binky's got more traction, more drive on his robot. Oh, Binky may have a problem. Is Binky... Oh, who's do we have a problem with? Poor old Binky. He's got wabbit trouble. Endeavour looks like... Uh, yeah, Endeavour's going to take the win. Well done. There you go. It's the Terminator. Next up in the red, Satanix. And next up, Fissure. Best of luck. Oh, we've got a. Hang on. He's beached. Try it again. See, that's good competitive spirit, isn't it? Helps his mate out, and then they'll just go and destroy each other in a minute. So it goes. That's what we're here for. Right, people, are you ready? Shall we do some robot action? Here we go. Get ready. Three, two, one, begin. What did I say? He helped him a minute ago. Now he wants to kill him. That's great. So, oh, there goes the wheel. There's that devastating spinning wheel at the front there for the yellow one. That, of course, is uh, Fisher. But it looks unfortunately like Terminator is out of the camp for a minute because he's been inactive. Oh! Another win for Satanix. He's on a roll this week. One, ceasefire. And then, well done, Surveyor. There he is over there. And then the other one is Loki. Good luck, Roboteers. Wish you the best. Here we go. Over to you, James. Roboteers, get ready. You ready? Two, one, go. 
Now, Surveyor has got that spinning disc at the front. It's brutal when you come in contact with it, but it takes time to spin up. And if he does get into trouble, he needs to, oh, we've got a smoker. We've got a smoker. So the brushless motor maybe, or the speed controller, the electronic speed controller inside has given up the ghost. His primary weapon is now, is now inactive. Loki's going on the attack. Like an injured wildebeest, they all go after poor old, poor, poor old uh, surveyor. Look at him, taking a pound but he's trying to avoid that devastating punch and Loki's pneumatic flipper. Survivor's doing a good job of trying to protect himself in the corner, but Loki's coming in for the attack. But Stiff Breeze, the oldest robot here, about 13 years old, the orange one, but still going very strong. A very low center of gravity, which makes it uh, hard to really get hold of from a robot point of view. And it gives him the opportunity to be nimble and quick and get out of the way of all of those quite devastating smashes that could occur in the arena. But Sur Surveyor at the moment, his primary weapon is dead. So he's really just trying to evade all the chaos that's finding him. We've got the Pit of Doom, which has now been lowered. Can, can Surveyor get one of his opponents in the pit? If he can, that means he may win. He may do it. Loki's on the way. Oh, he's turned up the other way. So can he right himself? Remember, if you're inactive for longer than 10 seconds, you're counted out. So Surveyor must keep active. But it looks unfortunately like uh, Stiff Breeze. Oh, you silly sausage. So there you go. Although his primary weapon was disabled, Surveyor takes the win. Well done, Surveyor.